Hey guys, so Calgary will be coming to Defo GL tomorrow and yeah, let's talk about his kit. So first of all, regarding his BT, do you really need his BT? Well, apparently not. I have tested him in the same fight with and without BT. It's only difference by two or three fourth time turn and we have plenty left over so if the enemy have, I don't know, maybe 400 million HP or something, he probably still can get through it. So, if you're low on budget, do get his FR. And if you can't chase for his BT, that is alright because you can still use him to solo a lot of content. Um, his kit, he is basically an off-turn DPS unit. Meaning that you will want to let the enemy take as much as as much turn as possible because you will be doing a lot of preemptive strikes and counter attack during the enemy's turn. Um, a lot have called him a tank, but I do not categorize him as a tank. He is pretty bad at doing what he's supposed to do as a tank. Um, I will talk about that in a moment. And basically, apart from that, he is a solo specialist. So a lot of videos, if you see that features Kelger, is mainly him doing solo. Um, personally, for me, I like a team with full party, but still I use Kelger as solo because I did try. Um, on the JP side, usually I like to bring a full team, so I bring Kelger with another two more um, off-turn unit. He's usually not as good as just bringing him solo because most of the time I, the other teams just die. So yeah, I'd rather bring him solo, he, deal, he end up dealing more damage, you can get more out of force time, and it's safer that way. Okay? And how to use Kelger's kid? So first of all, his FR is for off turn. So the more the enemy act, the more damage he do, the higher the HP do damage bonus get because every time um, Calgary evades an attack, it is 50%. One good thing is that he have taunt and his taunt is on his buff. So the enemy will definitely be attacking him. Um, his FR also reduces his turn rate by 50%, which means making him really, really slow. And enemy will be taking an additional 2 or 3 more turns than usual. So that is a very good thing. So I would suggest to use his FR as main, even if you are in the party with full off turn. Like if you bring Kor, Kelger, and I don't know, some other character like Minwu. Basically... Um, when you want to party around Kelger for off turn, do not put him together with other counter tanks because they will uh, compete with each other depending on who get hit and who will do the counter. So he doesn't go very well with Galoof, he doesn't go very well with Oren or with Guardiolus. So it's better to use character that um, doesn't have that form of condition. Um, another character is like Beatrix, but Beatrix needs the party to get hit. So Calgar evades, so that is also not a good um, synergy. And hence, I would suggest you know characters that utilizes trap like size. Size is really good because size have evasion as well. And what else do you have? Uh, Minwu, okay, um, Maria, Firion. But really, it also depends on how long those trap lasts. If it can last a really long time then obviously it is a better um, character that you can put them together with Kelger. But again, a lot of these characters still does not have an echo. So, you know, it could be a little bit like, I want a full team with echo with BT, but this character doesn't have, so it's not really in your um, roster, like those that you will consider putting in your party. So in this case, I ended up using him mainly for solo. Um, yeah, okay, apart from that, he evades, right? So if boss were to do a guarantee hit, Calgar is dead. Okay, if you have two, a party, three characters, and Calgar is just evading, and the other two could not evade, and they are dead too. Hence, I can't really consider him as a tank. Definitely not a reliable tank. He is good as a tank if the boss only does single attack. 
which is what the next event is all about they just do single attack and you'd feel like wow calgary is like the best tank ever but no if you're against um enemy that does aoe attack and guarantee hit that's it your team dies okay so here for example i was doing this john jp crystal level 3 run um the boss has guaranteed force attack a lot of boss have guaranteed force attack and if you want to outcharge the boss and you have a party a full party three units it is quite difficult to outcharge them and also to charge your um summon gauge right because the enemy is taking less turn and every turn is just not enough to charge your summon gate so in that case it can be pretty tricky if you want to outcharge the enemy's gauge but if you are using Kelger solo then you can just simply let the enemy take some turn and we know that during enemy's turn the gauge doesn't increase as fast so yeah just wait for it then the summon should charge even before any of the gauge is charged then enter summon to boost up your gauge enter Calgary's bt to further boost it up and to hit 100 percent you will likely to hit 100 percent before the enemy does then activate his fr before the enemy activate the air force time because you will die if it's guaranteed hit so this is basically um, the routine on how you want to execute your run if you are using Calgary solo if you are not using Calgary solo Do bring another form of damage mitigator like Queen or something something with last stand so that your party don't die and one thing to to note is that Calgary doesn't heal so if you get damage in any form you might not be able to meet the HP requirement and that's it okay, so Compared to characters like Orin, um, Kor, they have some form of regen, so you can actually get back some HP, which is actually really important um, for a tank. So, yeah, so Kelgar is that. But do remember that his AA has 40% mitigation. That is good, but um, usually it's not enough. But you can prove me wrong because I haven't been using Kelgar that often, and I mostly use Kelgar for solo um yeah but anyway he has that 40 percent history damage mitigation but you still need a form of healing or regen to get um the hp back up so you don't fail hp requirement okay in terms of crystal passive i would recommend d3 and d6 because that would make him slower so meaning allowing the enemy to take even more turns um just a fun fact when i was doing the run that i showcased in youtube on the calgar versus crystal level 3 in jp right now i equipped d3 and d6 but i could not get um the gauge charge the summon gauge charge on time because he is so slow the enemy takes so many turns and up the enemy activated their fr before i can enter summon so only by removing d3 and d6 then i could okay but if you know if that situation happens you can still always rely on chocobo or silk summon because they do charge faster all right so it's really you got to tweak your runs a little bit um in terms of overall score i'm still giving a very high score he is a very good unit a very good solo character and if you are playing against uh, content like Dare to Defy, where there's so many run and everything is locked out, Telker could easily just, you know, um, complete one of the run with re minimal characters. He's just one, and that's done. And also that he do not needing his BT, making him a really good budget unit. So I would say every new player or any player at all should at least get his FR, and having him um, would be a great addition to your roster okay so you don't have to exactly chase for his bt but if you really like his kit and having the only wolf character in the game yeah why not um, personally i am not chasing his bt i have it in jp so i'll be using that um, for gl definitely i will get his fr so good luck with your pools tomorrow and enjoy and have fun with calgary thank you